My name is ASDF, and welcome to the stream. Uh, all right, Levi, thank you for coming in and lurking. Hello, Yoshi. Hello, Helmet. Thank you for the lurk. Beat Saber is so much fun. I, I've had so much fun playing Beat Saber, honestly, and it's such a good workout, and it's fun, and it's like, I don't know. Something about, like, the double lightsabers that is just, like, I've always wanted lightsabers. What's up, Warlord? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so a couple of things. Uh, one, hopefully y'all's weekend was good. Did anything happen that was story worthy or out of the ordinary? Or was it just like the perfect weekend for some reason? Because I'd love to hear about it. My weekend was pretty good. Actually, my weekend was really full. Oh, you're getting a cable to connect it to the computer so you can get mods. That's cool. Yeah, the Oculus Quest 2. I went ahead and loaded, uh, I side loaded the patch in and then. I got in all those custom maps and stuff, but yeah, if you can play GOAT, one of the custom maps by Polythea, that's my favorite Beat Saber song. I'm trying to think. Crab Rave 360 is my favorite one that's built in, that it comes with. And then GOAT by Polythea, or Polythea, I don't know how to say his name. But uh, yeah, anyway, so uh, as far as Minecraft goes... I guess I, I redid some things so you can see it looks a little different than we used to have storage over here and then we had this really ugly we had this really ugly villager breeder that I set up that wasn't working yet um, and then we were dealing with all kinds of like glitches and bugs this is pretty much the same except I have a polar bear over here and just the farming animals this used to be waterlogged and there were all kinds of stuff You'll do goat when you get it? Okay. And right now you do 360 crab rave. I love it, dude, because it makes you it makes you dance like the crab rave. And it's just, it's very, very well done. So I got one pillager going for when we get an iron farm. I think pillagers are good to use. I have two villagers here. Um, what I did is I restarted, because I think we had issues um, when I upgraded. This is a 116.4 world. And I upgraded it to 117.1. I didn't think it was going to be a problem, but it was kind of a problem. So there were all these like weird glitches and bugs where like the text wasn't showing up properly and the waves like kept resetting. Oh, there's a wandering trader in here somewhere. <laughs> you guys can see the, the particles coming off and I saw the potion of invisibility for a second. Uh, yeah, so, <clears throat> excuse me. I made this farming area just a little bit bigger so I didn't feel so claustrophobic. And then... I have down here, I made a layer two, and I haven't really done much with it. I just have chests over here. So, and, and I have them organized pretty much the same way. We've got stone types, dirt types. I labeled them this time because I kept getting confused last time. And especially since like I redid it and it was similar chests, but different. So I've already died three times in this world. Uh, they gave me, so yeah, that was the other thing that when we died last time, it was like, I'm giving you a, a gift because you died one of three times, but the gift never spawned in. So this time it did. There were some sea lanterns in there, which was excellent um, just for thematic lighting. Uh, down here, most of these are half slabs. I say half slabs. They're all just slabs. There's, there's no such thing as a half slab. It's just a thing that Minecrafters say, so it catches on. Um, we just, we barely ran out of spruce. We needed four more, four more? Yeah, four more spruce wood. One more spruce log, and we would have, uh, been able to complete the whole border around here, but I don't really know what to do with this space down here. I have a feeling it'll be, like, a lot of storage and things as we expand the top. But, so I guess on the, the dock of what to do tonight, I want to get my villagers kind of expanded. Uh, I don't think anything from the nether will attack villagers, but maybe. So, and I'd hate for them to like get shot by a piglin or something like that. I haven't made any armor. I've barely used any of the iron to craft and I've only used three diamonds to craft. So from one playthrough, so far up to this point, and it, it's not even a bugged playthrough, we've gotten 11 diamonds and we've gotten, let's see, I've made one iron pickaxe. So that would be 29 and three, 32 iron and 11 diamonds at this point. And I just barely started the nether, got one ancient debris, and I got, I can show you, oh, uh, that's red desert. I can show you, I got like, maybe a stack of blocks in or something like that. Um, and then I'm pretty sure that's where we left it last time because those gas, the gas haven't spawned yet. So we were further last time. 
So I want to get some of that going. I kind of want to gas proof this area. Um, so maybe we'll start with that where we'll do a little bit of building. I kind of want to phantom proof the main area. But what I've been doing is I've just been mining it from underneath, which has been really helpful. Um, because then mo when mobs spawn, I can go kind of like scope it out and get them to aggro on me here. And then they just kind of wash down here um, and stay in the corner because of the way the water's flowing. So I haven't had a lot of issues with mobs on this particular playthrough. And it's just, it's working so much better. So I don't have any places where, where mobs would be able to jump down from the top. Because they can't AI jump down to uh, directly underneath the block they're standing on. They would need one block around it to be able to see. The other thing I like too is that we can kind of walk through this area. When I get more of the twisted wood, the, the teal wood, I want to replace this wall with a teal fence. Just so all these areas are just fenced, but differently. And uh, I guess with that... It's probably a good time to jump back into it. The one thing we're missing is arrows. I used all my arrows against some of the guardians. So we have a bow that we could use um, for the ghasts, but I think it's just going to be a lot of dodging and avoiding. So why don't we go ahead and keep the stone theme here, the cobblestone middle theme, and maybe we'll do some kind of a blackstone slab roof. Do we have enough? We have four. Okay, so let's do some mining real quick. Um, let's let's keep this going on the on the sky block and again I haven't used much iron and I haven't used many diamonds so most of this has been stone tools because last time I was just being dumb and I was like let's just make diamond tools what could go wrong and then we got totally annihilated because a gas spawned and blew up the one block that we couldn't have blown up um, because one literally one block here if you guys watch the VOD again or I've uploaded it to YouTube if you watch it, we're kind of sitting under a trap door and we're standing on one block of grass and a gas spawned, immediately shot us and blew up the one block and, and we lost it all to the point where I didn't even think we could continue because we needed diamond tools uh, to break some of this stuff and I think without the diamond tools we would have had a really hard time progressing because I think we had used all the iron too so it was just a huge mess um, so I'm glad that we restarted. I got two villagers back, so we'll have to expand the villager area a little bit. And I'm not sure if I want to expand this into like a big town area, um, cause that would allow us to build underneath that section too. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. I want to get a better villager breeder, so I'll build it like up high, um, so that it'll be easier to cart the villagers around and that kind of stuff. Um, instead of like taking up one of these things. Alternatively, I might just put some extra beds in here and then plant some stuff so they can farm it. But we'll see, we'll see. It would be a kind of an old school villager breeder if we just threw a bunch of beds and food in there. We could also do a lot of farming and feed them manually, but I'm not a huge fan of manual stuff. Oh, Warlord, thank you so much for the five months, tier two. That's awesome. Something spawned, you guys heard it. Yeah, lava, uh, lava cubes. Magma cubes, not lava cubes. What am I even talking about? All right. Warlord, you, you are the reason that we have our third emote slot, by the way. Hey, what's up, Quackers of Bean? We've seen bean quackers. I don't think we've ever seen quackers of bean on this channel. Kind of interesting. Anyways, um... That was confusing. What was confusing? You mean bean dropping in? Oh, oh, an odd chest. Ooh, twisting vines. Oh, a puffer fish spawn egg. Interesting. Oh, crab three, crab rave 360. I know it is interesting, isn't it? Cause it, like, I like the 360 idea and I especially like it with crab rave because it's a dancing song and they make you dance it. So. Yeah, I, I quite enjoy it. I think it's my favorite built-in song that they have. But I haven't done Expert Plus or whatever the hardest difficulty is that's built in. I haven't done all of those. So, who's cutting onions? Alright, I'll take it. I'll take it. Crying Obsidian. I have a feeling we're going to get a gas spawn soon, so I'm going to stay underneath here in the relative safety. And uh, go ahead and just keep crafting stone stuff. 
You're on your phone in a car wash and you'll watch when you get home on the main. Awesome, thank you. Oh, car wash. The closest thing that we would have to rain in Southern California is just going to a car wash. It like never rains here. That being said, it's probably gonna rain like next week now that I've said it. It is a little tough to see the blocks from an Oh, it's because it's obsidian, that's why. Hey, what's up, Okami? Welcome. Come on in. I should have like a little to-do list in the top corner so we can check off things when we're done with them. Also, I have to apologize. I'm going to end up eating uh, in the middle of this stream. So I I really like this gilded blackstone because it's a block. It's, it's different than the like gold nugget veins. Ooh, can we mine nether quartz with a stone pick? We should find out. Oh, we totally can. Okay, cool. All right, how are you guys all doing, by the way? How was your weekends? Welcome to the stream. 105 of 115. Oh, something spawned in again. Okay, this is, this is why we do it from underneath, because the knockback on these guys is insane. We tried to fight one of them on the last time we played through it and it knocked us off the wall. And that was the first time we lost our diamonds. So, oh wait, we have more iron. I was gonna say, I thought we had more iron than just the 32 that was here. So there you go. We've, we've got more than it looks like, so. That's good. Maybe it's time for a super smelter. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. There's not a lot of point in making a super smelter. So also now that the game isn't bugged out, we don't need to like rush it weirdly, so. Oh, that's true. Your main might have different. Well, so you you put hours into this channel watching before um, before we switch to stream elements too. So, but yeah, Leviathan's definitely here to fund other people. Ooh, a shroom light. Awesome, awesome. I love shroom lights. We can actually use those to go light up some of these areas. Um, like, I'll probably put one in here just because it's kind of a nice organic lighting solution. So let's do this. And before any mobs decide they want to jump down the, the one block hole gap there. And then this one, we have farmland planted here. But we don't have any light here. So maybe... You have so little watch time on this account, you only have 300 bits. Or 300 channel point? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we can, we can sit in here. And then the nice thing about these waters pushing to the middle is if I'm shifting on the very edge of this slab and I just unshift and then shift again real quick. Oh, the custom car thing is still set up. All right, let me, let me remove that real quick. Well, uh, I don't want to get, I don't want to give you the wrong impression that I'll take a break from Minecraft and go do a custom car. It was the one that I missed. Also, I redid some of the prices for some of the channel point stuff just because, like, there's some people out there, and I am definitely looking at you, Yoshi. There's some people out there with, like, 10,000 points. So, keep it so we can make you change your skin. Oh, no. We ca I like my skin, though. It's just me. Like, I got a hoodie like that, but it's red on the inside, and then I have these um, mint green, like, pro vans, and then I usually just wear skinny jeans. That, that's like my ideal wardrobe is like vans or toms something comfy skinny jeans and a hoodie that that is like totally me so respect the drip <laughs> what is respect the drip i don't even know i feel so old i feel old on this channel when i stream and it's funny because like yoshi and i are, are around the same age not to dox him but like he's kind of young so I, I view him as like my same age category. And uh, every time he abbreviates something, I feel old because I don't know what he's talking about. Oh, blazes. What in the blazes? Ha, get good blazes. Let's try to keep them in the arena so we can get the, the drops if they do, which they did. Beautiful. And I'm glad I picked it up with the last available slot. That that was just meant to be right there. That was meant to be. Yeah, so I made a lot of stuff more expensive. Not because I don't want you guys to be able to redeem it. But I was talking to Pink Ninja and she's like, Sometimes I don't redeem stuff just because it seems so cheap. 
Like if you made it more expensive, I feel like I'd redeem more stuff. And I was like, that is very interesting. Okay, I know the vines are like nether stuff, um, but I'm gonna just put them in plants. Also, I have glowstone in here. No, I don't. Okay, that's fine. Uh, puffer fish spawn. So we have the, the random spawn eggs that we've gotten in chests so far is fox, vindicator, and puffer fish. And this vindicator is huge because if they ever give us a spawner, we can change it to a vindicator spawner and that's crazy XP and emeralds. So that would be ideal. Okay, um, we do have another chest of chests. Also, one of these, one of the cool things here, I know it's kind of weird to see chests waterlogged like this, but if you put signs on the front of your chests to mark them out, it's, I think it's a little nicer than having, um, especially for manual sorters, it's nicer than item frames, because you can just write out the type. Like, if I just put cobble on here, you'd think it was a chest of cobble, but it's not multiple types so you put the sign on and what that also does it means you can waterlog the chest which why would you bother waterlogging a chest it seems extra well that means if a creeper comes and blows this whole area up this chest is safe because creepers can't blow things up that are in water so these chests are immune to explosions well the back half isn't um and i don't think creepers could even spawn down here the light level might be low enough here but i don't i don't think they'd be able to spawn um, also, I kind of want to connect these with chains just to make them feel like they're they're a little more connected. But I don't want to waste the the iron yet until we're kind of done with the phases. But I want to get some crazy stuff because we essentially have a floating sky island here. So, oh, there's the glowstone. Okay, we'll leave the glowstone dust in the nether box. And then we'll put the quartz in the value. No, nah, I'm putting the nether quartz in the nether box. It's kind of valuable, but I'm leaving it over there. Um, we do have gold nuggets. We do have dirt. I don't know where to put this. Uh, I guess I have some dye here. And then we've got plants here. We have four dark oak saplings now, right? Four dark oak saplings? Where did they go? I'm blind. I'm super blind. Oh, we have seven. Okay, so we could farm those. Do shroom lights go in plants? No, I'm putting them in the nether box. Shroom lights go in the nether box, and then blaze rods go in mobs. That's my system. Also, I have a couple more pieces of gear. I got like these swords, I didn't craft them. They came with uh, when I died, it was in the package. And when I died the third time, they gave me an iron sword and this iron pickaxe, which I replaced with the diamond pickaxe. So, um, and I did craft one iron pickaxe before all this went down that I used up completely. Pretty sure I used it up completely. Yeah. Okay, I'll take the variety chest. It's kind of nice. I'm waiting for that odd sound that makes a mob spawn. It's just not happening. I was trying to think of what happened this weekend that I was so stoked about. We went climbing. Pink Ninja and I went with some friends of ours, uh, IRL, we went climbing for the first time in like months because we haven't gotten out in months to go climbing. And it, we went to the gym and it was just such a good time. We were sore, but like we didn't climb so hard that we were sore because we were mostly like hanging out with our friends and showing them the ropes and stuff. <laughs> Pun not intended, but it happened. Um, literally showing them the ropes and it was so exciting. One had been before, um, of our friends. It was, uh, one had been before and one hadn't. So it was really fun and yeah, they did a great job. What spawned this time? Oh, a strider. Well, we can, um, hey V, welcome. Thank you for those two obsidian earlier, by the way. I was I was in a, V has a Minecraft server that she graciously invited me to join. And I was in the end looking for cities to raid for elytra and shulker boxes. I didn't find any elytra, I got some shulkers though. And I was so deep in the end and didn't have any elytra or rockets even that I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna load up all my stuff in shulker boxes, throw it in my end chest and then SD. And then I did, and then I was like, oh. I got back to my spawn point in the overworld and I was like, oh, I don't have enough obsidian to make an ender chest. And I don't wanna craft another diamond pickaxe. 
just to go mine two obsidian to make the ender chest to get my diamond pickaxe that's fully enchanted out of my ender chest. So V came to the rescue and she went and grabbed me two obsidian and it was super kind. So yeah, all the quartz, that was what I did for experience. Um, I just went to the nether and found all the sections of quartz and was like, you know what? This is, this is how I, fa I farm experience now. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. And you're welcome for the quartz, so. I think our minds are intersecting now too. I, I've seen a bunch of paths that I've crossed. Um, also, if you want me to light up my mines because uh, like mob spawns and stuff, then I, I can absolutely do that. But I just don't, because I just mine in a straight line, so. Yep, yep. Oh, something spawned in. More blazes? Uh, or a wither skeleton. Drop a head? Drop a head? No, nah, he didn't drop a head. Bummer. So, you see what I mean, like, with the water stream? Just, yeah, so good. So good. This is the way to do it. Oh, Yoshi's is too- Yeah, I saw Yoshi on earlier, but I didn't actually see him, so I assumed he was just deep underground mining somewhere. And I said hi, so I assumed he was just AFK deep underground mining somewhere. I keep thinking that's like a villager leg or something, but that- <gasps> A wither skeleton skull. That's a nice pickup. That's a real nice pickup. Okay, we're gonna drop that in... I guess we'll put it in mob drops. Okay, let's see. Let's let's organize a little bit. Let's just, let's just get a little organized here. Oh, good. I'm glad you like the end stone. Yeah, I have like five more of it, but that's pretty much all the end stone that I had. I thought it added just a nice little, uh, nice little touch to the the shrine that we've set up to the dragon egg. All right, let's drop off nether stuff in the nether box first because most of this is nether stuff. Ooh, basalt is real nice too. Okay, and the rest of this, this is a stone type, this is an ocean type, this is dirt, this is a plant. Wow, we just touched a whole bunch of different categories. Cool. Oh, thank you for the hydrate reminder, by the way. Okay, so we're gonna keep on mining. I wonder if I just put a torch here. If, I think that'll make it so that when gravel or gravity type blocks spawn, they'll just immediately break right there on the torch. And then I think the way the mod works is it picks up anything like near this block in the middle and puts it on top. So I think that's ideal. And then I need to go craft one more torch. Um, well, I have four sticks. I might as well craft 16 torches. And I just put them in my offhand. I'm running... Oh, you know what? I'm not even running Optifine right now. I was running Optifine, but you can only have one version installed, so I was on a different ver Minecraft version more often than this one, so I'm just running straight vanilla here, and I think I have a couple mods for textures and stuff, like the connected textures and like the villager name, like one of them has it because of the mod. Oh no, they're both unnamed now. Okay, well, there you go, pure vanilla. But it was just visual stuff, like it gave villagers random names and stuff like that. Of course, we may never get another gra- oh, there's the ghasts. So we gotta be really careful with these guys. I don't really know, I don't even know what to do about this. Okay, this is a, this is a big problem. I don't know what to do about the gas, but they're just gonna, they're gonna cause so many problems. And I don't have a bow and arrows. I have feathers and sticks and flint. So I can go craft some arrows, maybe? Okay. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. I'm hoping they'll just fly away and despawn. That, uh... See? This is why, this is why I do it. Wow, that was a, that was a great throw. Okay, don't make eye contact. Fly away and despawn, please. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, I don't consent. 
I don't like this. No, thank you. No, thanks. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you like this, ghasts? No, they're breaking stuff. Stop breaking stuff. No! Go away! Stop being terrible! I hate this. Why are they like this? Okay, well I need to go get the flint. I have one flint. I don't even have enough for arrows. Like, they, they spawned in these ghasts, and I've got nothing to fight against them. So it's just, this is awful. But I guess maybe I'll wait for them to despawn. so annoying. It's so annoying. This is a frozen chest and a benevolent gift chest. Do I have any of those? I have a benevolent gift chest and I have a frozen chest. Okay. Uh, this was the benevolent gift chest. Hopefully those, uh, hopefully I didn't lose any items in those. I don't think I did, but I might have. Let's see. I need a birch stair. So, let's see, how do we prevent this from happening again? I think the gas probably despawned. Oh, hello. Pink ninja's here. Um, oh, why do I have water in my boxes? It makes them blast proof. Or at least it makes this half of them blast proof. Which is, uh, clutch, <laughs> as you can see. Oh, I had, I had more birch stairs, that's awkward. Okay, let's go, let's bring up some wood. To repair up here. I don't think the gas would target the villagers, so the villagers are fine. Um, actually, they didn't do a ton of damage, mostly because I made this out of cobblestone. But I think we need to start walling in the sides, maybe. So, let's get some oak to repair there. This will fill in with grass eventually. And then, we lost the torch, no big deal. We need two more, three more birch fences. And I think we had some, so no need to use more birch on it. Um, thank you for bringing me food, by the way. Let's see, wood types, birch, and oak planks I'll leave on me. I'll put my bow back away because it's not helpful because we can't have arrows anyways. And then we'll get a little more organized. Yeah, I, I don't think the... Oh, you know what? We might have lost... We lost nothing, okay. Because the chest opened this way. If we lost the other side of these ones though, that would be a huge problem. So I'm gonna actually grab a bucket and fill those in with water. Um, so that if gas spawn in again, because they probably will. Then these chests will be safe. And then I'll do it with the same. Spin Eternally needs a 360 mode. I think, yeah, I think most of the songs could really do with the 360 mode in VR. It's just so fun. I don't know. That, maybe it's just me, but I, I think it's so fun. Okay, building materials, we have enough stairs to do this. We can stair them in on the sides. We probably shouldn't because now mobs can jump down, but maybe we'll go put an oak border around this. At least just the, the corners. So that it kind of matches and it's it's everything's fine. That's not it. That's not it, chief. Okay, so that's that's better. 
I could put signs on the back to prevent this water spill off, but it's fine if water spills off there. It's it's not a problem. Okay, well that was uh, that was not ideal, but it's okay. So let me refill my bucket, put it back in my gearbox. Then let's go refill on some stew. And we'll put these fences back. One, two, three, so our strider doesn't leave us. Okay, okay, we're doing okay. We should do something to prevent those gas attacks from happening again though. Which might mean building up these walls a little bit, but we don't have any spruce, so let's go harvest the spruce when we can. I do have one spruce tree over here growing. Everything's so slow with just an iron axe. So, actually, so I don't need a bunch of oak, so let me take down all these trees and we'll just plant three spruce trees, because it is kind of a nice wood to build with. We'll punch these leaves down with our bowl of stew. Maybe we'll get spruce trees. We have some down below too, so. It's uh, not a big deal if we don't... Oh, well, there was one. We didn't grab it on its way down. Down into the depths. Okay. Let's go plant some more spruce, and then we can just wait for it while we... While we eat. Because I gotta, I gotta do me and eat. Or I'll get really hangry. And you guys don't want to see me hangry. Actually, I probably wouldn't. I'm not feeling particularly hangry. Oh, I missed a side. How did I miss a side? I, I thought I double checked it so many times. I don't know how I missed the side. Also, we can drop these off now. You could just bone meal the trees. Shh, shh. No, we definitely need to. Uh, we we don't. <laughs> no, it means I was in the middle of being attacked by ghasts when you came home. But I will definitely take a break now. And uh, I will go give Pink Ninja a hug, a welcome home hug, and then when we come back, uh, pardon me while we uh, while I eat some food. Actually, I'll just leave this because mobs can't spawn. We lit the whole place up, so um, I'll be right back in a second. back hopefully we're back not to have a burger eating ASMR thing because I'm not about the eating ASMR some ASMR I like I know it's kind of a controversial subject on the internet and it's I think it's just because there's a huge range of it you know like let me let me zoom the camera a little bit just just a little bit just just a little bit yeah there we go that's a that's framed a little better actually you know what it's not it's not framed any better let's just let's put it back it's all good so there's different kinds of ASMR out there on the internet. Some of it I like, some of it I hate, and some of it is just in the middle. So given that wide a range of thing, if you're only ever exposed to ASMR that you absolutely hate, but it was proposed to you as like, this is ASMR, you will love it, and then it turns out it's ASMR and you hate it, then you're not gonna like it, like ever. So, um, I mean, it does a disservice. If you're a fan of ASMR and you kind of pitch the style of ASMR that you like in particular as like, this is the ASMR, then you're gonna get a lot of people that just don't like it, which is okay. I mean, people have different preferences. Um, and there's so many different kinds that it's just, I don't know, it's, yeah. One of those things, I guess. So I quite like the ones that are like um, like tapping or they're like, I don't have a wind foam on this microphone so I can't really show you, but there's ones where people have like a big squishy foam windshield on their microphone and they like squish it. And I don't know why, 
but it's just like it's such a weird but kind of pleasing sound of just like being inside of foam being squished i don't know it's just it's very relaxing for me so i i quite like that style of asmr there's a lot that i'm not a fan of um i'm not a fan of like when people eat really close to the microphone and it and it's just like them like chewing like that that's a pet peeve of mine in real life is when people chew super loud and i'm just i'm not into it so um oh let me keep chopping this tree down my axe is gonna break yeah like sometimes even people chewing at a normal volume just drives me crazy so seeking that out yeah But even, I mean, there's even some mouth sounds that I like with ASMR too. It's it's just like, eating is not my jam, you know? But there's, there's a lot of like, non-mouth ASMR that I like. Like, even crinkling paper, like, this could be it if I just put this really close to the mic. Like, some people are really into that, you know? And some people are really not into that. It's just, it's a toss up. And some people are like, why are you crinkling a thing? It just sounds like you're crinkling a thing. Like, I don't get it. That's totally fine too. Come on trees, grow up. You can do it, grow up. Actually, I know these fries came with ketchup, but I'm gonna go get some ranch for them. We should start a poll. We should see what people eat their fries with. See, let me see how to start a poll. There's got to be a way. Let's see. Stream marker, manage goals, start a prediction, manage your poll. There we go. I'll add that to the quick settings real quick. Create a new poll. Which condiment is best for fries? Um... Boy, I don't know. We'll do a we'll do a five we'll we'll do a we'll do a ten minute. Responses. Uh ketchup, ranch, barbecue sauce. How how do you even spell mayonnaise? Is there two N's in mayonnaise? Oh there is. Ooh, I got it right. Ooh, wow. Okay, um, other, explain, and I'm, I'm gonna even, you could pay to win, you, you could, you could pay to win it with channel points or bits, you, you can just keep on voting forever if you wanted to, there we go, we got a poll, which condiment is best for fries, and I'm, I'm putting my vote in ranch, boom, and I can't vote multiple times because I have infinite channel points and that would be unfair. <laughs> <laughs> the streamer's like, well, I did a poll on my channel, and 100% of the people said, said ranch. And it's like, did you vote a million times? I forgot when I had the game pause, it's a single player world, so it does not continue to do things while the game is paused. Which is probably good for panic reasons, you know? I, yeah, I just, I just love ranch for everything. It's definitely, I know the question of the day a couple days back was like one condiment forever. Not entirely sure that uh, soy sauce would be great for fries. But maybe fry seasoning doesn't count as a condiment. I wouldn't count fry seasoning as a condiment, like Lowry's seasoning salts or something. 
And you could totally put that on fries and eat them plain. Well, plain, you know, seasoned. These are big fries too. Wow. Yeah, 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 you don't like, yeah. You don't dip fries in it. I guess you could. I don't know if it would stick. You know, these trees, these trees are growing so slow. I'm kind of bummed that we won't get the moss blocks because you can get infinite bone meal with moss blocks. But there's other ways to make infinite bone meal farms. Like you can have, I don't know if this is the most efficient way to do it, but you can have a villager based uh, like carrot farm or wheat farm. Any any of the plants you can have villagers grow. Um, and you can just have hoppers throw them straight into composters that turned it into bone meal. So that's infinite bone meal. We could go to a soul sand valley biome in the nether. Cause I wanna get on the nether ceiling and do some farms up there too. Just to show you guys how to do those. So we could definitely do we could just do like a skeleton farm or something up there in the nether. And I'm gonna have to refresh myself on the 116 specific mob spawn mechanics because I know they changed a little bit between 15 and 16. They probably changed a little bit between 16 and 17 and I just didn't look it up. So that's on me. Let's see, I can edit the stream info and just say watching spruce grow the old fashioned way. Which would be really fitting if I was drinking an old fashioned. But yeah, I mean. Come on, spruce trees. I wonder, will this grass spread? Or will the all three of these ranch gang rise up? I'm telling you, man, ranch on fries is just the best. Only other question is, which ranch? Because we just have, not sponsored, but, I mean, we just have Hidden Valley Ranch on hand. Because it was the most convenient thing for us to buy. I think my favorite ranch out there for fries or for tater tots is, oh, Bean, welcome home, by the way. Oh, ranch is good on everything. Maybe, maybe I belong in Minnesota, man. I like ranch on everything. Um, there's a place called Dog House, like D-O-G-H-A-U-S, and they do hot dogs and hamburgers on uh, Hawaiian roll buns instead of regular buns, and it's amazing. So, this stream is sponsored by Leviathan Ranch. Is that ranch with a can of beans strapped to it? <laughs> it costs like a billion dollars or something? Oh dear. Everything Le Leviathan brand is so expensive. The Habit has really good ranch. Yeah, they make it in-house. But there's this chain called Dog House, and they have a miso ranch that is so good. Oh, there you go, bean quackers. Yeah. Rank 16. You could gamble it. Ooh, rank three. 
You almost have 10,000. I wonder who's in rank 2. Did Yoshi make it back to uh, rank 2? I'm trying to think. Maybe Okami's up there. But I don't think so. Maybe Yoshi's up there, but I don't think so. Maybe Spacely's up there. But it's hard to get up that high without gambling. Unfortunately, yes, I do count as number one. Because I gave myself like a million so that I could accept all dual requests. Automatically. Like if anybody wants to duel me, I'll automatically accept. Ooh, unless... Um... Unless I exempted myself from it. Oh no, I'm, I'm rank 1. Bummer. There's a couple things I can exempt myself from. But this isn't one of them. Man, these Wendy's fries are so good tonight. What's the deal? Sometimes Wendy's fries are kinda eh. Sometimes they're really good. Tonight, they're like, these are like the best Wendy's fries I've ever had. Not sponsored, but Wendy, if you're listening, I'll say that your fries are amazing. Yeah, Wendy's fries and ranch. I'm telling you. So good. You know what I want to see normalized? Ranch being the same price as ketchup. Some places you go and they're like, yeah, ranch costs extra. They're like, is it that much more expensive than ketchup? Like, why is it that you can give out ketchup for free in bulk? Bussin' or sussin'? I love it. It's like eat it or yeet it on Smosh or, uh... Dope or nope on Matthias' channel. Ketchup's like all sugar. Yeah. Ranch is the real stuff. I'm with you. Like 100%. 100% I'm with you. And I just don't know why it's like... Because you buy a bottle of ketchup and you buy a bottle of ranch. And I think they're similarly priced in stores. So I don't know why they're so like... You go to In-N-Out, right? And they've got, well, they don't have ranch, so that's a bad example. Oh, ranch is always more. Maybe that's it. Ooh, somebody put mayo. Okay, interesting. Who's the mayo guy? Who's the mayo guy out there? Ketchup's like vinegar and ranch is made with pure goodness. That's true. That's true. Let's check the grass. Grass hasn't moved. Spruce hasn't moved. Yeah, mayo on fries. It's a very European thing, I think, to put mayonnaise on fries. But it might also be in some parts of the Midwest here. And I know we occasionally get viewers from, uh, like, Germany or Sweden. Well, 80%. 80% for ranch. So I just dipped my barbecue bacon bourbon burger in ranch. I'm going to try it. This is for science. You know what? The barbecue and bacon... It's such a flavorful combination already. I would have to soak this thing in ranch to even taste it. When am I gonna make a food review stream? We can't, I mean, we could do fun stuff like cooking stream. Pink Ninja's like, he never cooks. If the stream can make him cook, let's do it. <laughs> Apparently I make a mean French onion soup, which I've made twice in my life. And it was great both times. And I've cooked like twice in my life, so that's that's kind of all I can make. I can do toast. I made a bagel for Pink Ninja the other day.
You know what I love about Wendy's too? Is their meat is so meaty. Like their meat patties are no joke. They're not thin, they're good quality, they're square. I don't know why they're square, but whatever. Maybe they cook even or something. Ooh, a good deep dish pizza. I've never tried to make a deep dish pizza. It sounds good though. Growing up, I pretty much grew up on uh, thin crust pizza. Because my dad was like this huge like anti-crust guy. He still is. I mean, he really loves like the thinner the crust, the better. Pretty much if you could make pizza on a paper thin crust with all the goodies on top. Well, he probably wouldn't go for that. But I mean, like he eats pizza where like mom will make pizza. And she'll put the cheese and stuff all the way to the edge. So there's literally no back crust on the pizza. So. Oh, they don't cut corners. Okay, that's clever. I didn't even know that. They must not have good marketing if I didn't even know what their slogan was. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, they're square, weird. <laughs> but that's a lot to be said, like, having a good quality product is not even more important than marketing, but like, I'm kind of anti-marketing. But ASDF, don't you work for an online advertising company? Yes, I do. But for me personally, like, when I see heavy marketing to something, it makes me not want to buy it as much because I know they're spending so much money on it. Like, if advertising a product accounts for 40% of the budget, then I know that 40% of my money is going towards advertising. Which I don't even mind, like, company can do whatever they want, but if they didn't advertise that product, it could be 40% cheaper and they would have the same profit margin. Uh, something like that. The, the statistic, like, the percentages would be a little different because it's like subtracting versus adding. But if they didn't market it at all and they still attempted to sell the same amount of units, it could be 40% cheaper. So for a hundred, let's, let's say this microphone. Right, beautiful microphone. I've never seen a piece of advertising for a blue ember microphone. Never, ever. So I assume they don't heavily market this microphone. I've actually never seen advertising for blue in general, ever, the company, because they're a great audio company. So, I mean, I've seen their stuff before, but I've never seen anybody sponsored by blue and giving them free microphones. All the reviews online, like I've never heard somebody say Blue sent me this mic for the purpose of a review. So like they're not even sending free product out in marketing. So I know that this mic costs $100 because this mic costs, you know, whatever it costs to build with the profit margin. Let's say they profit margin 50%. This mic costs $50 to build. So they're selling it for $100. If, they, if marketing was 40% of the budget, it would cost $50 to build and then they would throw another 40% on top of that. So that would be $70. And then they would market it at 50% margin. So it'd be $140. Is that, did I do that right? Yeah. So it'd be $140 because they marketed it. So when I see heavy marketing for things, I'm like, ah, it's probably not as good of build quality as a company that I have to look up myself for, the, for a similar thing. Um, oh, your stream crashed a little bit. You got a small amp that plugs into the bottom of your mic and it sounds beautiful. Oh, awesome. I'm glad you really like it. I'm glad you like it. Yeah. What, what my, uh, what amp did you get that plugs into the bottom of the mic? Cause I haven't looked into that. That sounds really cool. We're just gonna bone meal it. It's taking so long. Cool, cool. All right, we need to get at least one back from breaking these, right? Oh, we just did, the first one we broke. Perfect. 
Perfect. Oh, this one grew too. Nice. I'm pretty sure that grass would have filled in long before these were all three done growing on their own. But when this one saw that the other one could do it, he was like, I could do that too. I could be a big tree. You watch me. I'm gonna be a big tree someday. Like my friend right next to me is a big tree. Peer pressure, man. It's good for growing trees. Who would have thought? The other thing too is like, I hate feeling like I'm just like everyone else. It's the MXL Mic Mate Pro. Yeah, I've never heard of that. I'm gonna look it up real quick. So it's in my history and then I can look it up later without having to scroll through my whole video <laughs> to find your, uh, your comments on it. It looks so sleek too. Dude, this is so cool. And again, I've never heard of it, which means either their marketing is uh, not very good because I love audio gear, so, or they just like put a lot of money into the actual build itself. That's really cool. Where to buy? Yeah, that's really nice. Oh, and it has zero latency monitoring. Oh, with the headphone jack. That's so cool. And you can control the headphone independent from the real gain going into your system. Yeah, beautiful. 48 volt fan to power. That's really, really cool. I like that a lot. Oh, 70 on Amazon? You bought it at 50? That's awesome, because on their website they sell it for 100. So you got a steal of a deal. Okay, I don't want to punch the uh, villager in the head, so... I will alt tab back into the game. All right, well, we've got some spruce growing, so let's let's put all our uh, growing spruce stuff away real quick. We'll put we'll put this away. This, how did I get those saplings? Oh, it was from taking down the old trees. Uh, this, this isn't gonna be enough, but maybe it'll be a good start. So if we just wall in, maybe just like, these pieces like this then we can hide from the ghasts let me see it let me see if this is good enough no we need one more which is okay I mean I'm not opposed to I'm not opposed to doing one more what if I just did two would that look okay kind of looks better Wait, how did I mess this up so bad? Hold up. Hold up. How did I mess all of these up so bad? My goodness. Can't thank me enough? Oh, dude, no worries. I, I love gear, and I love finding good gear, and I love when people recommend good gear. I've got this friend at church that just, like, he's a total... He's a total- I don't even know what to call us, like, I just say gearhead, cause he loves gear and he's always on the lookout for good stuff. Okay, we can do that, we can do probably something like this, have three, and then go all the way up in this corner. Uh, I mean, that looks alright, that looks alright. We'll, we'll figure out how to make it look better next time. But for now, we just need something practical, and then, uh... We can get it. We can get stuff looking good next time. Actually, that was almost the perfect amount of logs. Wait, was it? It was the perfect amount of logs. It was totally meant to be. So, yeah, and I kind of like this look too. That kind of like fades back out so you get the view as you go on further. Okay, so that works for me, and now we can continue um, mining some of the- Well, let me let me actually finish my food first, so. Yeah, my, my cat cam died, so sorry about the cat cam. Um, it's just, it's mega dead, but if you want, you can use this. Yeah, that's, that was me. All right, we're switching cat cams. Hmm. 
We got one more big bite, and then we'll get back into the gameplay. Here's some more uh, napkin ASMR, because I have to wipe my hands off anyways. Okay, well, with that out of the way, thank you guys for waiting while I while I ate dinner. There's nothing worse than when somebody's streaming, and they're just like trying to plow through it, but they're, you know they're in a bad mood. You're like, dude, just go eat. Like, you can, I'd rather you eat on stream and take 10 minutes to do that, and then be in a good mood for the rest of it. Than like trying to power through like this. Wait, did I did I lose that torch that was um, underneath this block? There was one there. Oh, the gas probably blew it up. Yeah. That is so rude. Also, no worries on that rough camera swap. It's all good. I'm gonna break my shovel soon. I think it has one more life left in it. I hear mobs. I think it was hoglins or piglins or something. Wait. What am I doing? I don't need to do that yet. Yeah. Those guys hit so hard though. Can't really hit me through the water stream. I mean, they could, but... He's smelling the sniffs. I love that. Come on, hit me with some gravel. I want to see if the torch will break it. Gravel's another, another thing. We used to actually, before we found out about gravel mountains, we used to just go to the nether to farm gravel. Yeah, and bef oh, another, this is, wait, this is the first lava bucket. Oh, that's super important. I'm gonna go stow that real quick. Cause then we can make a cobblestone generator. So now we have a uh, regenerating cobblestone. That's huge. We gotta make more stew real quick too. Yoink. Mmm, fresh stew. Oh, this is from an older map. Oh, the sand stays because it's on the torch. Okay, so what if I remove the torch? If it falls on a slab, does it break? It does. Okay, so I can just leave this as a slab down here and that's fine. Um, so I guess gravit falling block entities break on torches, but I guess you could just place a sand on a torch? Is that a thing? Interesting. Very interesting. Huh, I had, I had no idea. This man be making some stew! That's right. Oh, did my shovel break? I think it did. Yeah, it did. Okay, let me, uh, let me just make a new shovel real quick. So I'm almost at endgame in the server that I joined recently. Almost. I haven't found Elytra yet, and it's because, uh, I didn't ask if the seed was made available. Oh, water hurts blazes. I mean, that makes an awful lot of sense. Also, I don't know if do fire spread is off in this world. It is not. I need to turn it off. Ah, the blaze rod. So I need to turn off um, do fire tick, which means I need to open the land, allow cheats on. Wow, is this gonna break it? I guess I'll just leave it with the fire spread. We'll just have to be really careful about fires. So, <laughs> huh. We've got villager murmurs and pillager murmurs. All right, we're chilling again, we're chilling. We're just mining some blocks. We're mining a block over and over and over again. I love the basalt. We don't, we don't have, uh, we don't have packed, oh, we have one blue ice, but I think it needs to be packed ice to make basalt. 
And we have the lava now. So we can make renewable basalt soon. We can make glowstone soon. Oh, am I full on inventory space? Man, they, they have so many different variated blocks in the nether. Alright, let's uh, drop this stuff in the red desert thing first. We'll drop off some dirt and sand. We'll drop off the mossy cobble and diorite. And then a lot of the... Re Ooh, an infernal chest. Fancy. A lot of this stuff goes straight into the nether bucket. Not that. Obsidian. So we have three obsidian. Three obsidian. I don't need the bone meal on me. I don't need the rotten flesh on me. I don't need this gold nugget. And I don't need... Did I put the glowstone in there too? Yeah, glowstone dust. Huh. Huh. I'm gonna pick these up. Alrighty. Back to doing this one block. Perfect. Someone just say perfect? Was that the song? I heard someone go perfect. Maybe it was my neighbor. I don't know, if you guys didn't hear it, maybe I'm just going crazy. I actually had a dream about Minecraft the other day, it was the weirdest thing. And it was like, it felt like Minecraft, but then when I woke up I was like, that's not even how Minecraft Ooh. works. <laughs> Thanks for the ooh ooh warlord. <laughs> I checked this time to see if it was you. Ow, 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 ow. I should have just waited. I should have just I should have just been mining from down below. Did they convert yet? Yeah, they did. It's fine. All my stuff's still going to be here. I just lost levels. But there's no point in having levels yet cuz uh there's no enchantments. So there's no point in having levels. Okay. Torches go there. I had planks, sticks. I had three stews and then I had cobblestone, right? Somewhere. Man, my stuff really went flying. It really flew. I don't know why it flew so far that way, especially with these leaves here. Um, we got our cobble back too, so. Um, I'll hit both of these guys from here. Can't. got a gold sword. How's the durability? It's awful. It has one durability left. Let's just smelt it. Nah, then I'd waste the whole coal on it. Well, when we have eight gold swords to smelt, we'll waste the coal. How about that? What, ooh -woo. Oh, dear. Oh, it was the perfect from Street Fighter. That makes sense. I never played Street Fighter. I mean, I played it a couple times, but I never, like, you know, played it. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Ooh, I'll go up for that. I'm a little nervous where that string came from. Ooh, another cinnamon roll. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take all these cinnamon rolls. Oh, was it the Strider? Did it die? Oh, did it die because it was raining? I don't know how Striders work. <laughs> Or maybe the piglins hunted it? I don't know. It's interesting though. Okay, so I need to have like a way to light up the bottom of this thing. Oh, maybe I'll just put shroom lights here. Okay, one sec. Let me grab some shroom lights. Oh, it dies in water? Yeah, it probably, probably either dipped into the water then and died. Or like the rain just killed it. Which is kind of a bummer, but... Put one there and I'll put one here. Now I can see. I can't really. Can't. I still can't see the underside of that block. Oh. That sounds like a hoglin. And their hitboxes. Ooh, it's two of them. Good. That's a good source of leather and, uh. Pork? 
Oh, it turned into a zombified hoglet. I haven't seen a zombified hoglet in ages. I'm drowning. Too bad I couldn't kill it before it zombified. Because now I just got rotten flesh. Uh, pork chops. That's what it's called. The rain did kill it. Hmm. Getting some good pork and some bad pork. Okay, we've got some ancient debris. We've got a lot of nether stuff. Nether, 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 nether. Nether. And then, what else do we have? We've got some, we've got a lot of mob drops. Mob, 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 mob. Lapis, I don't remember getting lapis from anywhere. I don't, I don't remember, I don't remember lining myself up a lapis, but it must have happened. I feel like Gandalf. I have no memory of this place. Okay, all right, we're on our way. We gotta go drink some stew. Give me your stew. Okay. Just waiting for those gas to spawn in again and mess us up. But they did fly away and despawn, so it's good to know that they'll do that. a chest okay well it has blaze rods but we don't need a stronghold so I think the one of the last phases oh no okay we got it we got it we got it I'd rather die in here where all my stuff is safe okay that's fine yeah, and they'll convert okay totally fine we only lost like two levels so as long as my stuff is safe, because this game mode is so much about just keeping your stuff safe. That you'll be fine. There's a wandering trader with a horse. Yeah, I know, he's chilling in there. He's chilling like a villain. Those guys are villains. Don't let them fool you. Those wandering traders are not your friend. Alright, and we did get all our stuff back. So, let's go ahead and punch this guy off the edge. <laughs> We can deal with one zombified piglin. Sword's gonna break soon. But we have an axe back up too, so I'm okay with uh, breaking my sword. I think he sells packed ice or blue ice. Yeah, he sells packed ice. That's why I kept him. I was like, okay, you're kind of important. I'll keep you around. That's fine. Oh, future's so bright, I gotta wear shades indoors. Alright, I actually have to go get my sunglasses. That's funny, I'll be right back. I'll use the BRB screen. Alright, let's get back to it. I only have one problem. Well, I mean, I got several problems, but I only have one problem with wearing sunglasses during this stream. And it's that the polarization on my sunglasses and the polarization on my monitor are the same direction. Which means I can't see squat. I have to go like this to see the game. Alright, but let me start a five minute timer. We'll get, we'll get back to the game. Everything's fine. This, this is how Minecraft was meant to be played. Oh, oh, a mob party. Mob party, get out of here. This is terrible timing. Um, okay, there's the ghasts. We have prepared for this, though. There's some blazes. The blazes are dying to the rain. The piglins are turning into zombified piglins. And the ghasts are flying away and despawning. That was like the lamest monster raid of all of them so far. <laughs> I can go this way too. Okay, I don't want to mess with the ghast. Are more of them coming down the chute? 
Yes, more of them are coming down the chute. Is he zombified? Yeah, and they're in full armor too. Wow. That's not good. Well, don't go down that chute anymore. <laughs> it's dangerous down there. Just these guys now, huh? I think the rain kind of hurt them too. Okay, so... The blaze didn't drop any blaze rods, which is a bummer. One villager has a name. Okay, let's go deal with these guys, because they can't swim. So I can just stay safely away from them, where they can't hit me, but I can hit them. Which is why I have this place down here. Pretty nifty, isn't it? My sword's gonna break soon. There it goes. The axe is so slow compared to the compared to the other thing. Okay. Um might as well throw on some spiffy pants, right? I mean they're free pants. They cost me a sword, but that's alright. Okay. Um Sword Sword. There we go. Got another gold sword for you. Okay, it looks like we got some mob drops. We have a chest. This is so hard. We got mob drops. Uh, yes. Those three go to the nether chest, and this goes to valuables. Which one's the nether chest? That one. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. And look at that. We even have armor rating for the first time. We didn't even get an achievement for it. Give me more cinnamon rolls. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Hit us with the cinnamon roll. Oh, great. I'll take that. No, 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 no. Okay, you cannot you cannot go catch my wool on fire. I like those carpets. I feel like I feel like a kid wearing sunglasses like in the in the 2000s. I mean, they're not those kinds of sunglasses, but when I see them without my glasses in the tiny preview window of my camera, I'm like, I feel like when I was a kid in the early 2000s and I had my cool glasses on. And I I'm still just a nerdy kid with my cool glasses on. Ooh, another lava bucket. That's clutch. Now we can mess up with one of them. We don't have renewable lava in this version though, because the, um, what's it called? The, st the stalactites? What does it say? Uh, especially when I lean back. Ready? Yo. Well, I haven't redeemed, or no one's redeemed Lose the Glasses or Future So Bright since I got my new monitor, and that was a while ago. People have redeemed Lose the Glasses since then, which makes me all squinty and not nearly as cool as I am now. But yes, Future So Bright, you gotta wear shades indoors. I think my timer's just about finished. There it is. Alright. Dismiss. And now I can see you guys again, so to speak. I'm not a hacker that has uh, hacked into your computers to see you through your webcams. Did you guys see that story recently? I don't even know how I saw it. It was on some news thing and I don't get a lot of news, but, um, oh, you're saving up for Sound of Silence. Oh no. Oh, Strider, you picked a bad time to spawn in. Poor guy. Oh, oh, I saved him. I saved him. You're welcome. Cause Soul Sand's not a full block. It's one pixel short. Cause you sink into it one pixel. So when I broke it, he was technically in the next block and he fell down. 
I, I didn't realize they were only one block wide though. You'd think their hitbox would be wider than that because their their picture is wider than that, but whatever. I'm not here to complain about that currently. I read this article and I say article loosely. It was more of just a guy whining about Rocket League. And he was saying like, oh, I'm wearing gold. Now they're not bothered by me. I didn't even have to buy it. I took it off one of your dead friends. To be fair, one of your dead friends attacked me first. Okay, now that they have converted, I'll smack one of them. Oh dear. Um, I have to use my axe, and I have to just be really careful not to hit the horse. Because it sounds awful. When you hit a horse in Minecraft, it, it's the worst. There's two really bad sounds. Oh, I was accidentally trying to feed the horse stew. Um, there's two really bad sounds in Minecraft. Hitting the horse, or horse is dying, and ghasts dying. Oh, speaking of ghasts, and netherite scrap too. I don't even have to go cook it. That's a pre-cooked cinnamon roll. How's our inventory doing? Getting a little full. I'll go drop some stuff off. Okay, valuable gear. Lava bucket, definitely valuable gear. Um, okay. Oh, netherite scrap, definitely valuable. We got a lot of more nether stuff to drop off in the nether box. Was this all nether related things? Yeah, I guess it was. Wow. All right, that's cool. The sound of silence is so awkward. I, I can just imagine like, if you're new to the stream and you suffer through the ad to go to a small streamer's channel, like for one, props to you for already doing that. Most people leave when there's an ad on a small streamer, which I'm not a fan of Twitch not giving you an option to display ads. Like when somebody becomes affiliate, allow them to get a piece of the ad revenue, but allow them to turn off the ads. Otherwise, there's no growth, you know, because it's like 70% of people too. If they get an ad on a channel, they'll just leave and find one with no ads. So, um, speaking of, I still have my pre-roll ads on again. So I might throw an ad up. Next time I'm away from my keyboard, I'll throw an ad up. So, boy, it's just, it takes so long to mine obsidian without efficiency 5. Oh, hi, 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 hi. That's not good. Dude, you're going to break my pants. Not what I thought would break, but something broke. It's fine. We got stew. Well, I think we're probably just about wrapping up this nether phase because we've gotten a lot out of it. We got five ancient debris and or scraps. Maybe we'll grab that sand before it despawns. So I mostly mine nether quartz in Minecraft because it's so good for the experience. You know, it's weird that magma cubes don't take damage in water. All the other mobs from the nether do. Right, well wither skeletons don't because they, I mean, they're not like made of fire. Magma cubes are though. Ooh, more gas tears, so we can respawn the end dragon when we get there. We have four gas tears. Which I'm probably going to need to do in V's server, because I beat the dragon. I wanted to get Elytra and Shulker boxes. I have Shulker boxes now, which is, I think, even a bigger deal than Elytra for me. But I just love the freedom of Elytra. Because, uh, for me, like, as a Minecraft, like, farmer, is my is my self-appointed Minecraft class. Uh, once I get Elytra, I have to go build a gunpowder farm. And there's not one on that server yet, so that kind of falls to me to go build one. But I'll probably just do a wander based one. I don't want to have to trap a bunch of cats in minecarts. No, thank you. 
What did you guys blow up? You blew up mushroom light, and there's fire. Oh, there's fire. Okay, there's one over there. I should go put the fire out. Before it spreads. No thanks. You tend to make the farm require redstone? Hmm, interesting. Yeah, so the creeper farm is really easy. You can't English? You tend to make the farms that require redstone? Yeah. Uh, the creeper farm is really easy. You just build a spawning platform and there's a couple ways to do it. Well, one, you make the spawning platform and then you make it two blocks tall and then you put a trap door over the top part so you only get spiders and creepers. And you can put walls in place in, in four areas so you only get creepers if you wanted maximized rates because spiders would take up the, some of the mob cap. And then you can do it two ways. You can have it wander base so they wander off the edge and you put trapdoors on the edge so they think they can walk. And then they just fall down onto magma and then they burn to death and you have mine carts underneath that pick up the water bucket with the drop. Yeah, that's the other way where you have a, a redstone timer with a water bucket and a dropper that will push them off uh, at a certain time. That's not what happened to my pick. Oh, the ghasts are still around. I hate it. Go despawn, ghasts. Go despawn. Oh, he's up there. Ah, I'm bummed that we lost a shroom light. Because those are great. I guess we might as well put stuff away. You're not another block, Mr. Granite. Keeping an eye out on that... On that ghast. Making me nervous. You're making me nervous, Ghast. You're making me nervous. Gold farms are your favorite to make. I, I got my uh, gold farm time down to like two and a half hours. Including collecting all the magma, which was crazy. But I had vein mining on that account because there was a modded Minecraft server. So the collection would have taken longer if it wasn't for vein mining. Okay, it's time to craft these up. still around go away how many tiers do I make so I've done two different ones so far I've done the one with the big rings and I do three big rings uh, and then just slabs in the middle and then I was gonna say I could show you while we wait for this gas to despawn but if I showed you I'd have to switch minecraft versions and I don't want to run two of them while I'm streaming that seems like a mistake it's still over there go away oh I don't hear him Maybe you went away. And then I've made the other one that uses turtle eggs. And that attracts the, uh, that attracts them. And that one I did with like 17 tiers or something, but the tiers are a lot smaller. Because it's based on the sight range of the zombified piglins seeing the turtle, turtle eggs to try to go stomp them. So, but that was, that was a lot of fun to make too. That one was definitely harder to make. That was the Nembon one. You've made one with a 12 by 12 platform with 12 tiers. That's a lot of spawning space. Was it, um, was it turtle egg based? Or was it like player aggro based? Yeah, turtle eggs. Yeah, I like the turtle egg one cause you can have the option to do it manual with a looting sword. Cause you can have them fall into honey blocks or something. Uh, but then I also like the player aggro one cause it's just so easy. You just, you shoot one and then you can AFK it so easy. Oh, I have gold pants. Bet you guys wish you had gold pants. But you don't, because I'm cooler than you. I opened a chest around them. That was really good timing. It's weird that they like pause for so long after being hit. That's really weird. 
I forgot you can't open a chest around the piglins, or they won't like you. Um, with the one you had, they just die in a hopper. Oh, so they just fall and die? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good way to do it, too. And then it's all passive. But if you don't aggro them, you don't get the XP anymore, which is a bummer. So that's the other reason I like the aggro farm, because you can just AFK it overnight and get like five or six hundred levels. What am I doing? Thanks for uh, judging me silently, Mr. Villager. Actually, it wasn't silently, because I could hear you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Oh. Yep, yep. You are, you are a person. Where's the grunting coming from? Oh, it's coming from this pillager over here. With his head in the leaf. That's what an enderman farm is for? That's true, but then you have to get a script for the XP. Like, the piglin farms are so good for XP. Uh, cause it's just AFK. And then if you want really good XP, guardian farms are where it's at. But that's a lot of effort. And I actually find it's easier... Well, let's see. I made an Enderman farm pretty quick on Ruckus' server, but then I also made the AFKable Big Circle Zombified Piglin farm pretty quick, so I don't know which one's easier to make. I like them both, so. Boy, I'm just about done with all this nether stuff. What do you guys think? Time for a new phase? Let's go. I mean, I'm not in control of that, but I feel like it's time for a new phase. The nether stuff's getting old. If they spawn one more gas thing, I'm over it. Oh, you know what? They're probably going to spawn in 8 obsidian, which we're probably getting close to that. Let me check. Let me see what we got. Yeah, we have nine obsidian, so we can make an end, or we can make another portal now. And I wonder if the Nether is the same. Like, I wonder if it's the same as normal Nether. All right. We're doing okay. We haven't really lost much. We like we lost the Shroomlight with the Gast attack. Uh, we lost probably a couple items with other gas attacks. We lost a couple chests because they blew up, but we didn't lose any contents in the chests. And that's what's important because we have so many chests and we have renewable wood, so chests are renewable. They're not a big deal to lose them. That's not good. That's really not good. That's not good. Not good. Stay away. S stay away. Was really close. I just didn't want him to knock me off the edge. If he kills me, whatever. Especially if he kills me near this, because it'll just suck my items to the middle. If he kills me near it, like by knocking me off the edge though, it's over. And he can just easily knock us off this thing. So. Which I guess if this is all walled in up here, we don't really need to have uh I forgot to do that too. Huh. Oh, I guess if it's all walled up, we don't need to have the platforms underneath be straight underneath, but whatever, it's fine. Okay, we broke my pick just before that, right? Yeah. Oh, let's, uh, let's get some more stew going. Hmm, no, I'm still warm. I forgot about the hoglins spawning. If two of them had spawned, I don't know what we would have done. Oh, I know what we would have done. We would have just gone over. Oh, Hydra, thank you for the reminder. Oh, that water's so cold and refreshing. I love it. I love it so much. This is my 10th obsidian. Oh wait, 10 is what you need to spawn the end portal, or the nether portal. I forgot. I can't believe I forgot another ancient debris and another lava bucket. 
I'll take it. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, we've got some plants. We've got some mob drops. My brain's getting confused. We've got some valuables. I guess we can use up the rest of this iron pick. I just haven't been. Whoa, we have seven. They're probably gonna give us one more of those and four more obsidian. Cause then we can make a crafting table, question mark. Then we can make an enchanting table. My brain, warlord, I can't English either. SDF, didn't you set this whole thing up so you could mine the blocks from the bottom and then it wouldn't be an issue with the mobs even though you've died, almost died several times to mobs because you've been standing on the top? Yes, that is exactly the case. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. Stop it. Stop, 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 stop. I hate fire spreading. How do I go get this guy? Did he catch anything on fire? No, he fired two and there were two going out that way. Is anything else burning right now? They're having a moment. I'm gonna just let them have a moment. I have an idea. You guys know where I'm going with this. That's where the mobs end up. That does mean if a friendly mob goes down there that they will be toast. But that's okay. Because we have all our farmable friendly mobs here. And we have all, well, I, I don't really care so much about the non-farmable mobs. Like, and by farmable, I don't mean like they reproduce or not. I mean like they farm other things than just like being an animal. But it's nice to have some of the ones that are non-farm. We've only seen one panda and one polar bear. I don't even know if you can breed polar bears. What would you feed them? Snow? Like, what's an arctic plant that grows in Minecraft? Is there even? Okay, they're giving us all kinds of, like, random blocks from other zones now, so I'm pretty sure we're nearing the end of this thing. Pretty sure. I would hate to die with all the magma. Oh yeah, hot stew straight from the mushroom. Oh, I forgot to change the title back. Uh... Procrastinating, procrastinating, working with the villagers. I hate villager mechanics, especially when you have to farm them. They're so bad. They're so bad. Okay, this is our 13th obsidian, if I'm counting correctly. And it's our not 13th obsidian, if I'm counting incorrectly. So there you go, those are the only two options. And I know it was structured as an if, else, if, instead of an if and an else, but you know, you guys get the right, you get, you get the right idea. Let me, let me fill in the rest of these actually. Is our axe gonna break? That is the worst. If 
put on the rest of these real quick with the spruce. I can Minecraft. I'm a professional Minecrafter. What are you talking about? Okay, that's that's so nice. There we go. I didn't check how much obsidian we had. It was 13 before though, so keep your eye out. If another obsidian shows up, then my guess will bump by one. Have you guys done any programming, by the way? Like when I make programming jokes, are you are you hip with them? Y'all know what's going on with that? Or are you just like, oh, okay, that's a joke I don't understand. Also, question, and this is more of a mindset question, are you guys okay with not understanding jokes? That's a big question. I mean, you can learn so much about somebody by knowing whether or not they're okay with understanding jokes. Because that's our, oh, we had 12. I miscounted. My bad. This doesn't belong in there. It belongs in there. But this belongs in there. And then this belongs there and there and there and man we really need an auto sorter but we need the crazy complex one because we don't have enough space currently we, we would need oh you took a semester of game design that's cool how was it was it like really hands-on coding or was it more like ideological and process oriented a lot of shroom lights too that's nice You know, I keep thinking that this might- I keep thinking this is like made by Mojang. Oh, three netherite scraps and another lava bucket. Oh, it was hands-on? That's cool. That's so much better. Well, I guess it depends. Ooh, okay, upgrade in 80 seconds. So let's go sort some of this stuff out. I wonder what we're going into next. I haven't looked at what's next on the phase list. Valuables. I don't really know where to put these two and the paper and the fire charge because it's not a mob drop. I'll put it here in building materials. Kind of. I guess sugar can be with plants, but it's not really a plant. It's like it's been crafted out of a plant, so we'll leave it alone. So, oh, uh, use code.org and Unity. Oh, okay, yeah, that's nice. You're fine with not understanding jokes? That's cool. I feel like it takes a lot of humility to just like not understand something and be okay with that. Cause it shows like, if you're not okay with not understanding something, it's like, it could be a few things. It could be that you're the type of person that really loves understanding things. And so when you don't understand, it bugs you enough to go look it up. Um, or it means that you're like always the center of attention. So if you don't get something, then it's like exposing a hole in your worldview where you're not the center of attention because some people know things that you don't and if you were the center of attention in the entire universe then you would know everything already so you've reached phase eight idyll a breeze of peace flows across the land okay i'll take the smooth quartz blocks well i think these are just quartz blocks right yeah we can smelt them into smooth quartz later if need be. This is good. I wanted to make a lot of the villager stuff out of uh, quartz blocks. So this is probably the villager based one. We got a preview earlier, but I imagine, and it's nighttime. So let's see, let's go until something spawns. Game better not be lying to me about it being peaceful. Oh, honeycomb. Oh, if bees spawn, I don't know what we're going to do with them, because they fly. Honey blocks, beautiful, because we haven't had any slime blocks yet. We still haven't had fortune as an enchantment, so we're not missing out on anything yet. Wow, this is just a whole hodgepodge of stuff. Oh, bees! Okay, let me give them... A beehive to go into. Uh, but where though? Down here, underneath. I'll just put it right here. You should have made it so you could put a campfire under it. Okay, next time. Come on, Mr. Bee. You can find your hive. Hopefully, they find the hive. If not, no big deal. 
We will eventually get more bees somehow and make more honey with them. What else could it be if somebody is bothered by not understanding a joke? I'm trying to think, because I don't want to put everybody into boxes and be like, there, we, we know everybody now. If, if somebody has a trouble or a problem with a not getting a joke, they must be one of these types of people. Like, that's not it, you know? I'm actually going to put the smooth quartz in with the nether stuff, because it kind of like nether quartz, block of quartz, you know what I mean? Honeycomb is a mob drop. Honey block is a building material. Uh, okay, stone and diorite. We've got dirt. Slime blocks can also be with honey blocks, even though they're more mob drops, because you can break them back out into slime. We'll leave it there. Um, valuables, all valuables. We've got, we've got plants. We've got, that wasn't a plant, that was another. Nether, nether, nether. We've got wood type. We've got more dirt type that I missed. This is a plant. This is a mob drop. That's stew. Uh, we've got more dirt type that I missed. And then we've got one ocean and two red desert. Uh, three red desert and another wood type that I missed. Wow, this is brutal. We don't have enough iron yet to... Uh, We don't have enough iron yet to make a bunch. Oh, angry bees! Wait, why are they all angry? What? Bees, why are you angry? Is it because it's raining? No! Don't be angry! Be happy! Alright, that was a bad pun. What's in the chest, though? Silk touch! Beautiful! So we need an anvil now, so we can put that on a pickaxe. Did I give them flowers? No, they just spawned in and they're angry. But I could give them flowers. Do I have any flowers? Uh, they've never given me flowers. Oh yeah, I have some corn flowers. Let's see if I can appease the bees. But some of them stung me and then they just left. They're just like, I'm out. I don't like the rain. That's so sad. It was called a rare chest. Well, it hit us with more of those. Okay, I'm gonna throw a silk touch on the pickaxe real quick. Yeah, I know. It is sad. Um, a lingering potion of fire resistance. It's only two minutes though. It's kind of lame. Okay, let's see. What are we doing? We need to make a new stone pick. I'm out of sticks. Stone pick. And then we need to make an iron anvil. Which is using a lot of our iron. Yikes. But it's okay because we need it. I'll just throw it there. Okay, so now, hopefully we have enough levels. We can put Silk Touch on this pickaxe. I think that was a good move. Hopefully that was a good move. That was the first rare chest we've received. That was a good pickup. So I want one of I want at least one grass block to have on hand. And I'm totally fine with not harvesting that redstone right away. I think it's better for storage even to have them in the the ore block form. Cuz this is 116 so um, the ore blocks are all still like there's only one type because deep slate's not a thing yet. Oh, cats! Well, that's nice. They immediately ran into where they'll be safe and can't get out. So that's perfect. 
The blocks are variated so much here. He says before the blocks don't vary at all by type. It's like a reflex game. Push one through three to have the appropriate tool to mine the block. And the occasional four. I should probably be using Silk Touch on those ones too, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, little slimes. Okay, we got lots of things to put away. We've got dirt, dirt, dirt. We've got wood, wood. And valuables is starting to get a little crowded. Let me go pick out that gold block though. Ooh, glistening melon, that's cool. Oh, and a beehive. Oh, I can actually pick that up now with Silk Touch. And it's night, so there might have been bees in it. A bee nest. You know, I'm not gonna put it down yet. I'm gonna put it in building materials. Uh, mob drops? Yeah, next to the honeycomb. Okay, let's go through one thing at a time here. Are cold colors or warm colors better? It depends. So, I tend to prefer cooler colors. This is a very important question. But, you know, like, if I had a log cabin out in the middle of nowhere, I wouldn't want, like, cold LEDs lighting it up, you know what I mean? Like, I definitely want warm lights involved. So, it really depends on, like, what you're asking about. Wow, a dead coral block too. I haven't seen one of those in ages. Why do you ask, Leviathan? Why do you ask such a general question? We have four lava buckets now. That's a lot. It said it's peaceful, so I don't expect any mobs. You know why the bees might have been angry? Their, their mechanics might be, like, coded in such a way that it's like, when they spawn out of a block, if they're, ang they're angry if you don't, like, smoke the block first, so if it detected, like, they spawned right after a block broke in its place, so it must have been the hive. So that's why they attacked. Maybe? That's just a working theory. But I don't know. Are you a mule? I think it's a mule. Well, whatever you are, you're going on an adventure. Maybe not. Now you're going on an adventure. Nope, that's not, that's not the adventure place. There you go, buddy boy. I wish there was a mod that just switched tools to whatever's the fastest thing to break the block. Like, if you have the tool in your hotbar, it'll just automatically switch. Like, I'll start attacking this with my axe and then it'll be like, oh, uh, oh, you want to know people's opinions about warm or cool colors? Yeah, mine's like, mine, it just depends. Like a lot of it just depends. Oh, this is perfect for these blocks, um, using silk touch on them. <gasps> a skeleton horse. Wow, that's rare. All right, we'll prep this. I'll shove him in here. Get in there. Alright. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. 
A turtle egg. Awesome. All my turtles are gone. I don't know where they went. I had turtles. Now I don't. It's as simple as that, which is kind of sad, but you know. I guess it's just how it goes. Time to sword again. Boy, this, this varied kind of thing is real rough. Okay, let's smelt these down. Well... Um, let's see. Any other valuables? Yes. Any other valuables? No. Any arctic? No. Any ocean? Not this time. Red desert? Also not- oh yes, there was one terracotta. Okay, nether has a lot. Nether, nether, nether. Oh, there's a the yellow terracotta. Uh, nether, nether. Okay, and then building materials, mob drops. I'm gonna put the honeycomb blocks. Yeah, I'll leave them in there. There's like weird stuff that kind of falls through the cracks of what I consider to be sorted into one place or another, and it drives me crazy. These pretzels are making me thirsty. Alrighty. We'll keep the train rolling. Ice! We should have silk touched it. Um, okay, you guys aren't friendly. I thought it said it was peaceful here. Oh, we'll just burn them. Oh, it's not night. They keep diving and then... And then they're like, ah, just kidding. Maybe they're peaceful phantoms. I don't know. I doubt they're peaceful phantoms, but... Maybe that's the thing, they're not attacking me. I haven't attacked them, they're not attacking me. I think they have burn resistance though. Oh, he got close to attacking me. Now they're burning though, right? Oh no, not yet. I think the walls are stopping them. I think they like can't attack because they can't find an angle in here. They'd have to land there, there, or there. But these trees stop him from swooping on that side. What is that? Is that a zombie horse? I have never seen a zombie horse before. What? Hang on, I have to look up if this is a thing. Zombie horse is a variant What? Okay. It's just a variant of a horse that I've never seen before. Oh no, it's an unused variant of the of a regular horse. Okay, so like it's in the game code. But it's not actually in the game, unless you play like creative and spawn them in. Well, it's getting way too crowded over there, but I'll leave them over there. Come on, go over there, horse. Boy, you are stubborn.
How do they keep jumping up onto these walls? How did I jump up onto the walls? Nope, nope, nope. Get in there. Get in there. Get back in there. Get back. Stay. Nope. Stay back in there. Whoa, Bessie. Whoa, Bessie. Kind of annoying just up there shrieking. A name tag is nice. Beetroot soup. I don't think I've ever had beetroot soup. Oh. More sorting. More sorting. But it's better to stay organized, I guess. Stone type. Nah, I gotta keep going in this order. Otherwise, I get all messed up start missing stuff. And I already missed stuff enough as it is. Oh, name tag probably can go in the valuable bucket. It's the first one we've gotten. Although that pillager seems to not have despawned, so maybe he won't. Maybe he counts as friendly. Okay, we've got some building materials. We've got some mob drops. Don't know what to do with the soup. We've got no plants. We've got wood types. We've got dirt types and we've got stone types and I missed two dirt types. Okay, beetroot soup. I'll just drink it and then use the bowls for mushroom stew. How's that sound? Sounds like a waste if you ask me. Oh, okay. Well, who asked you? You did, just a second ago. Oh, okay. Well, you know, you're right. I got nothing. I got no response to that. This hasn't been the most exciting of Minecraft streams, I suppose. So, sorry about that, guys. But we have been making progress. Our phantoms are now burning. Okay. Okay. It's a happy bee. It's a happy bee. Let me go get flowers, and then I'll attract them down here. And I'll show them the way. Do you know the way? Yes, come here, Mr. B. Mr. B. Have the flowers. I should plant the flowers, which means I need dirt. means I need to put the dirt somewhere. It sounded so close. There you go, me star B. I have made you flowers so you can be happy. All right, that was pretty cheesy. Also, my inventory is almost full again. This is crazy. This is crazy. And it was all mostly valuable stuff, so that's even crazier. Phantoms are so loud. Why are they so loud? Come on now. Where even are you? Okay, I'm gonna just go to sleep and make it daytime. Maybe they're actual phantoms that have spawned now. Because I haven't slept in ages. Still rocking my gold pants though. Or maybe they're, they look like they're burning, but they're not actually burning or something weird like that. I don't know. I got nothing to say about that. Hello little slime. So the little slimes can't hurt you, but the little magma cubes can. 
Also, they dropped a lot of slime balls just now. My villagers are still doing okay. As long as my villagers are still doing okay, we're doing okay. Ooh, honey bottles too, and more beetroot soup. Leviathan is your favorite warm or cool colors. I feel like I should ask. I know it was like a long time ago that you asked. No, they're more angry bees. I don't want the angry bees. They're gonna die. So sad. Why do they gotta be angry bees? Boy, they sure do give us a lot of nether type bricks. Oh, these should not go in there. These should go in mob drops. Honey bottles too. All right, we need to um, chug some soup. Well, I'd hate to like just yeet the soup soup off the edge. Guess we'll keep it for a little bit. They're still up there. They still have the like anti-fire stuff going on. They're literally on fire and just loud. Well, he came in for a nosedive. Come at me. Come at me, bro. They'll come at me now. Yeah, because I'm high enough for them to hit. And then when I jump off, they give up. Here, I'll just turn mob sounds really low. Oh, they're already really low. You like colder better? Yeah, I think in general, I'm with you. There's a couple places that I like warm lights though, so. You're trying to look for secrets on the tutorial planet. And Astroneer, that's funny. Whoa, okay, more netherite. I'll take the netherite scraps. Now my inventory is full again. Whew. So much sorting. So much sorting. Okay, we got some ocean blocks. We have a lot of ocean blocks, actually. We've got a lot of red desert blocks. We've got less than normal nether blocks. Uh, more white terracotta. That's not it. Okay, and then we've got stone type. We've got dirt type. We've got plants. We've got mob drops. We've got chests. We still have way too much soup. You found nothing so far and you think the planet's almost out of compound? I don't know what compound is. Is that like an astroneer like resource that you need? I always find it funny when you fail a tutorial that you're not supposed to be able to fail. Like you have to really try hard to fail it. And then you fail it and the devs have programmed in that like option. Okay, so the bees stop being angry now. The problem is I think once they hit you, they die. Oh, monster party. Is it all just angry bees? Phantoms? Slimes? It's used for tethers to give you oxygen. Got it. Okay. I'm sad. Oh, maybe I can give these bees flowers. Maybe I can like make them mate real quick so they produce a, a tiny bee. Because then I'll have two bees. I think it worked. I think it worked. 
That phantom is like super stuck. I like how the monster guard bees just got friendly. They're just like, oh, there's flowers here. All right, that's fine. I don't have to be angry anymore. I don't think I have any more flowers though. I have a wither rose, but that's not good for anybody. It's not good for anybody. It's bad for a lot of people. Oh, it only has one compound vein in the tutorial planet. Gotcha. What kind of game is Astroneer? Is it kind of like Oxygen Not Included? Where it's like a... I don't even know what to call that. Like a simulation... It's like, like Sims, but more scientific. Less role-playing. The Sims isn't role-playing, it's simulation. Hence why it's called The Sims. Uh, oh, Minecraft but space kind of. Oh, that's cool. I like Minecraft but space. Do I have no nether blocks? I have no nether blocks. That's awesome. First time in a while I've had no nether blocks to sort. Oh, I did. It was, it was, it was sneaky. Oh, how'd you get in here, little guy? Musical book. I'll take it. Or a musical chest, rather. Seriously, these phantoms are so obnoxious. Okay, come and get me. Open invitation. Please come and get me. You have got to stop. You just need to go away. You're so annoying. Come on. Come on. Swoop down, attack. Keep attacking, come on, attack me again. Let's go, let's go. How much health do you have? You've been on fire for days, literally days you've been on fire. Come on, you guys. Come on. Oh, you know what I gotta do? That, that wasn't it. It was uh, resource packs. I gotta turn on vanilla tweaks. Yes. We can get our dark theme going. Look how red my face got when the splash screen was just red. We can get our degrading tools going. We can get our variated textures going. It's a thing of beauty. I forgot I was holding a sword because it's it's the degraded texture. It's got like one slash left. Oh, it has four slashes left. Okay. Two slashes left. I don't have to switch to my axe. Are there only three left? Thank goodness there's only three left. No! I'm not even so bummed that I missed, it's just that now it's gonna take longer to get them out of here. Come on! Come on! Attack me, you cowards! You cannot figure out how to fly effectively. No, you gotta go that way. To your right, to my left. That, nope. That's not it. Other way. 
Can't do it from there. You're not smart enough. You're not smart enough to figure it out from there, Phantom. These Phantoms really are not smart. Oh, he broke my pants. Urgh. Thank goodness. Whew. I'm not gonna bother with the sword. The axe does just fine. Especially in this weird zone that only has like angry bees. He says before a bunch of bees spawn in and get mad. You've run out of tethers and you've found nothing. Fortunately, it's the tutorial planet, so. If you die, you can just restart the tutorial. Oh, thank you for the posture check. Oh, posture check. Now I'm feeling good. I slept on my neck wrong the other day, and I still have this kink in my neck. I don't think it's gotten worse. I don't think it's gotten better. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You guys were in my way. I'm really only doing one thing here, so if you, if you get in my way, it's on you. Ooh, golden carrots. That's the food of that's the food of endgame. That's the food of people who deal with villagers and are rewarded. So many mules. Why are there so many mules? Get out of my way, mule. You get in my way one more time. This is your warning. You get in my way, I'm gonna whack you with whatever tool, whatever tool I'm holding. I'll make you get out of my way. I think I'm gonna roll with only two stews. No, no. Oh, they're so loud. This is by far the most annoying of the zone so far. But what about the ghasts? Yeah, but that was like a danger and a challenge. The phantoms are not neither a danger nor a challenge, but they're mega annoying. And they never go away because they circle the player. So they're always aggroed on the player that they spawned on, which is me in this case. So they never go away or despawn. And when they have fire resistance forever, they never burn in the daylight. And so it's just all the time, all the time. You can't even figure out how to attack me. Come on, all the way around, other side, all the way around, other side. All the way around. All the way. All the way. Man, that is not a smart mob. Guess I'll just keep mining away at this thing. Until he goes to the right side. More beat me. Soup. Good night, Warlord. Thank you for the horns of good night. The, the air horn. It's like a sweet dreams spook. Like, as you go off to sleep, by the way. Another zombie horse. I don't mind. Out of my way. I don't mind um, getting rid of the extra mobs that we don't need. Because they just, they clutter the whole space, you know? I don't see the need to keep all of these. Is he on the right side yet? No, he's still derping around over there. So, Leviathan, you started school, right? More angry bees. One sting each. Oh, I hit one. He's gonna sting me again. It's not really how bees work, but I'll allow it. It is Minecraft after all. Uh, 
Okay, let's sort this. Let's deal with that phantom, because he's annoying. You did? How's that going? How's school going? Books will go in here. You know what? I'm going to put the quills in there, too. It's not really a building material. It's not really building material so much as it's like things that were crafted. So anything that I crafted or found that was already crafted. And then chests have their own category because there's just so many of them. Oh, Bummer already had cat. I started a playthrough where it was still glitchy on 117, trying to see if it could work out. And it was, uh, I got Pig Step as the first one. And I almost used my only diamond to make a jukebox to listen to Pig Step because it's so good. It's going good? All right. Well, that's good to hear. I know Okami, who may or may not still be around, probably lurking. Um, Okami was like the only one who was like, I wish that it wasn't in person like it is now. I was like, yeah, that would totally be me too. It'd be hard to go from online school to in-person school and like the transition. Not impossible. And some people were dying on online school. I mean, not literally, but you know what I mean. Like some people just like were suffering and like online is not their deal. So it makes sense why school is going back in person. It is a bummer though for the people that were actually learning well from online school and were, were thriving a little bit. Okay, so I think that's a good place to transition to dealing with villagers, maybe. And uh, do a little bit of building. Let me see if we can see the phases. Because we're in phase 8. Phase 7 was the nether. Phase 8. Let me, let me make another bed, actually. Is he on the right side? No, he's still on the wrong side. I need a rare chest with infinity. Hmm, what was I here for? I was here for something. Oh, I was here for my shears, so I can go shear my sheep. Get some wool, make an extra bed, and then we'll, we'll do a manual villager trading hall, and then we'll automate later when we get a villager breeder going. That's a polar bear. I don't want to shear a polar bear. Do I only have two sheep? No, there's the third one. I need some more oak. Do you find that you like the in-person or the online better? As much as I like the idea of online school, I might actually be more inclined to in-person, but it just, man, there's so much wasted time, you know? Like, I remember sitting through so many classes that I had to go to because they were required classes. And most of the time it was good, but there were some times... Oh, you still do online school. Okay, interesting. You know what, if I stand up here, it's kind of risky, but... Then this guy will be able to swoop down. And he'll punch me back that way, so I should be okay even if he hits me. He stopped right there, really? What a weird place to stop. Okay, we'll do that and then we'll go harvest some plants. We'll get we'll get some we'll get some chores out of the way. And then we'll go give them a bunch of these plants after we harvest them. Okay, let's 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 tidy up a bit, shall we? This this spruce is a bit invasive. There you go. Now now your head's not in a bunch of leaves there, Mr. Friendly Pillager.
Okay, so we'll replant. That's not wheat. We'll replant all this stuff. He didn't even try to, like, buck me off. He's just chilling. But also, he's in the way. Okay, we'll plant some carrots. I was gonna say I should have hit it with fortune. But I don't have fortune, so... Ain't nobody got fortune. And we'll just pass the carrots straight off to these guys. And then maybe that'll be enough food for them to, uh... To make a third little villager. And then we can give one of them a trade. I don't know which trade would be beneficial though. Maybe blacksmith? Well, farmer would be ideal. Oh, they got a lot of hearts. Oh, 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 don't look at me. Look at each other. There you go. Yeah. Did they just make a tiny villager? They did. Awesome. Okay. So we have a third villager now. That was that was so easy. We we can move that. What we can do is we can move them away from this area, and then we could put more beds. Actually, I need to put more beds in there, but I need to raise the fences so they don't stand on the bed and then jump straight off the fence and die when a mob spawns and they freak out. Well, this is interesting because now there's three of them. So if they happen to see a mob, like if I took this pillager and rode him over there and then rode him back um, they would spawn an iron golem which we can lava bucket so we can farm iron now so that's pretty good and then what else do we need we can probably expand this area a bit we might as well do that so let me go down and get some dirt we can expand this, we need to expand this area. So, maybe we can use the bricks on that area and then I'll get some dirt for this other area. We don't need a whole stack. Or we, we don't need a whole stack and 20. Okay, so let's start with this area. I want to make it, um... Please don't push me off while I'm standing right here. Where's the phantom? I don't like that we have to be aware of the phantom. He can just go away. Oh, that's why! This is why it's so annoying. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go away. You're on fire. Just die. Oh, he's going the right direction. Okay. He's going that way. What is that? You guys see that, like, screen tearing? Interesting. Yeah, it shows up a little bit in the preview. Okay, 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 okay. Come on. You've got to be close to dying. Just die. Just die. Thank goodness. Okay, now we can actually expand this without worrying about dying as much. As much. I can still be done. Two, three, four, five, and then we'll do one, and then we'll do one. Okay, and then this one has to go out the same one, two, three, four, five, one, and then. Oh, so that, that did expand it the right amount. Okay. Then, um, we can expand this one as well. Oh, I was like, can I not walk on the side next to a wall? I can. And this is gonna look a little interesting. It's gonna look like we've expanded it, which is okay. Five, one. Yeah, it's totally gonna look like we've expanded. Which might look kinda cool, actually. We'll see. We'll see it from the bottom real quick, just to see if it'll be cool or not. You like online better? 
Yeah, seems like a trend. I feel like we can't get a good representation of what people like better when we're on Twitch. Because, like, this is an online platform. So the people that are on Twitch are going to be probably more prone to liking the online thing. Which is not a bad thing. It's just a thing. Kind of an interesting thing. Okay, we'll craft up some fences. A lot of fences, apparently. Three, four, five. Okay, that's enough fences. That's enough slices! Look at, look at all this space you guys get. Please don't attack me, polar bear. Look at all this space you guys get now. You guys are all cramped up in here. I'm gonna give you guys some space. Look at that, thing of beauty. Beautiful, put some torches up here so you guys can have some light. Yeah. Yeah! Alright, look at that. Look at, they're still all bunched up, but at least they're less bunched up now. Okay, and then you guys need prismarine walls, but I think I want to make, um, I think I want to change the walls to, I can't make prismarine brick walls, okay. Oh, as soon as you get back, Warlord went to bed. What's up, Okami? Welcome back. I was just talking about you, actually, because I said you like online school better, and you were the only one that raised your hand. But Leviathan was saying uh, online school was better as well, so... You're not the only one here. But then, I, I don't know, I was saying that, like, Twitch might not be the best representation of the population as a whole. You know what I mean? So, okay. We will go... We could line it, too. Well, let's go make some more prismarine walls. Because apparently you can't make these... Can you make dark prismarine walls? It's worth checking. It is definitely worth checking and not a thing. Okay. The main reason is that you can self-motivate pretty well. Yeah, that's true. Not everyone can. So you've got yourself a rare talent. Ah, uh, more of a skill. It's something some people are born with, but you definitely need to work on it. It's not just like, oh, I'm, I'm not a self-motivator, so I guess I'll never be self-motivated. Like, that's not it. You just gotta learn. But it's hard to learn something that's so foreign, you know? It's like learning to speak English or something. Oh, that's perfect. I wonder if some of these mobs can jump up higher than a wall. It looks like they can, but it might just be because of the water making them bob high. I guess we'll see. Okay, I'm get- oops, sorry. So, sorry, sir. So, sorry, sir. Sir, move out of the way. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Everybody get out of the way. You're gonna put a ton of hydrogen somewhere and explode a planet? That seems pretty advanced if you can do that. That's cool. Leviathan's actually mega rich uh, because of all the products that he backs. And uh, and cells, so he's actually just gonna go do it on a on a real planet out there somewhere. Okay, um, I think it's time for these guys to go. Do I have enough of them? 
I do. Because I have two donkeys and I have two horses. So. You can just go hydrogen bomb Okami's school. Well, I don't want to crit punch a horse to death because that. That just seems cruel and unusual, so let's let's get an axe going again. I will crit axe a creature to death. Uh, let's not ruin my crops, please. I know you're like, you know, fighting for your life. Okay, let the timer bar go first. This stream is sponsored by Leviathan Bombs. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, yes. They look less cramped. They look less cramped. We gotta expand the villager one now. Let's just use regular sandstone and go around the back. I think it'll look kind of cool. Bear with me. Bear with me a lot. Because that one looks kind of cool now. With the expansion. They cost double the amount of money you have in your bank account, so it's impossible to buy. What if I open a bank account with a dollar in it? And then I pay two dollars cash. How about, how about that? Can I buy a Leviathan bomb? I'm, th I'm thinking outside the bank account box here. Okay, let's make more of those fence things. We're gonna need a lot of them. Hopefully we have, we don't have a lot of acacia. We have some acacia. I think we only need 24. That's 18. That's 24. I, yeah, I guess I could buy one. All right, let me just go open a savings account real quick and only put a dollar in it. <laughs> He's like, yo, you dropped a whole fence on my head. He just turns his head. A bajillion meters? Dude, that's a big bomb. I'm gonna get like banned on Twitch for talking about bombs. They're gonna be like, yeah, you said it. You said a keyword you can't say. And I'm gonna be like, what is it? And they're like, mm, bomb. And I'm like, you guys literally have CSGO as a category. You, liter you, you literally have people talking about planting bombs as terrorists. A and you're telling me that my fake imaginary bomb that's not even on screen is the thing that's gonna get me banned? Nah. Nah. I don't think so. That's right. I just won that imaginary argument against Twitch's fake rules. So, you know, take that imaginary Twitch rules. I can lower my way out of anything. You guys ever do that? <laughs> you guys ever just win arguments against yourself or like an imaginary opponent? There is this great quote about shadow boxing an imaginary opponent. Like the best part about shadow boxing is that your opponent is always equally skilled as you, but you always manage to win. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's so true. That is so true. Actually, that looks a lot cleaner than it did before too. So we'll light this up a little bit. We'll move their beds, but we'll make them more beds so they can keep, you know, doing their thing and making more little villagers. So, uh, let me go shear the sheep real quick. That's another reason I gave them more space for these animals is so I can get in there a little easier. Make some beds. Two more beds coming right up. Put a bed there, put a bed there. And then we'll break these beds and move them up and then we'll add more beds to the other side. They keep like shifting around. You guys see that? I don't know, they keep, keep doing weird stuff. You're bad at arguing that you lose the fake argument. Oh no, wait, <laughs> you're not supposed to lose the fake argument. 
That is interesting though. You think up a point that like you have no answer to. It means you're like really clever and not so clever at the same time. Cause you're clever enough to beat yourself, but you're not clever enough to re-beat yourself that beat yourself, if that makes any sort of sense. <laughs> that didn't make any sense. This poor Strider. I can't put lava down there because it's all made of wood. That wouldn't be good for the whole of this platform. Except the chests would be fine. So all of our stuff will be safe. Alright, we can put these walls and building materials. What did I need leather for here? I felt like I need leather here, but maybe... Oh, no, I don't. I had 17 of it. Okay. So I needed leather on the other server. All these servers are combining in my head to form one monstrosity. Yeah, I argue a lot with things in my head. And I think also part of part of that is like... Being prepared to, to argue with somebody. So like, you know, what hap how do- what's the best- oh, well the bee's been busy. Aww, I'm glad my one bee friend stuck around, because now we have renewable honey. Uh, oh, hydrogen's weak? That's true, if you're just igniting it, it's not gonna be like a hydrogen bomb. You would have to... split the hydrogen atom. It's gonna be more like the Hindenburg, if you fill a planet with hydrogen and blow it up, and less like a- a hydrogen bomb. Alright, let's get some more beds up in here. It's about to be Bed City up in here. You got I don't know how you guys can sleep with your eyes open with the sun out like this. Alright. We can break these. Sorry for breaking your beds. It's for your own good. There you go. Now look how much space you have. And then I can probably put three more here. Because they can walk on the beds. I can probably put a lot more here. So we'll see. Um, but that's good for now. Let me go down and find some more carrots to throw at them. Let's see how much we have in reserve. Also, if we have potatoes, we might want to plant potatoes. Oh, I haven't gotten a potato yet. Interesting. Okay, we don't have a ton of extra plants, so maybe we won't do anything with that yet. The only thing the hydrogen destroyed was your frame rate. Oh no. That's so sad. That one wasn't done yet. It's food time, villagers. They're just looking at it like, what is this? I've never seen this before in my life. Is that enough food? Is that enough caloric intake? Oh, maybe it was. Oh, maybe it was. Maybe I shouldn't watch. It was! Hey, they made another little villager. Okay, so we'll just do this manually for now. And then we'll give them trades so we can get some, uh, some trade, some, like, enchanted books going soon. Cause then we won't even need to make an enchanting table, we'll just do, we'll just use books. Cause we need mending. Well, we don't really need mending, I guess not. And we don't even need silk touch, really, if we just use fortune. But they gave us a silk touch book, so I was happy to accept it. Uh, and then what else will we need with villagers? I mean, I want to get all the trades eventually, so maybe this zone here We'll just expand this to be huge and we'll build a villager city over here in this direction uh, And then all the villager base farm and we'll have like Well, we'll have to have a little separate area for the iron farm where like villagers can't go so they don't interfere and spawn other golems um but we'll have a whole, like, probably a, a quad simple villager farm with, um... We do have a Vindicator egg, which we might use... If they give us a spawner, we'll use the Vindicator egg to make a Vindicator spawner. Um, and then we'll make a mob farm around that. But if not, then... 
I think what we'll do is we'll use the Vindicator in a simple iron farm. Because if you bob him on water, you don't have to have him go around a minecart as a mob. Because the sight range is like 10 blocks or 12 blocks for a Vindicator instead of the standard 8 or 10 for zombies and husks. Fortunately, all my zombies have been spawning with helmets, so we could just wait for a zombie to spawn in with a helmet. And then um, we can wait for one that spawns and is able to pick up an item, but we have name tags too. So that's not really a problem. Um, I want to expand the farming zone too, just a little bit. Uh, we'll probably we'll probably expand it quite a bit because once we get this sorting system going, which is going to be like a hopper right here, and then we're going to put a minecart hopper on top of it, so that I think it'll be able to reach the blocks on top of this one, but we'll have to test. Um, otherwise, we can probably embed a minecart into this space by placing one on a chest and then putting a block underneath this. Um, and then, then we're cooking with gas. Then we can make a TNT duper above it that hits just this block. So we can auto destroy these with a TNT duper because they gave us uh, fans, coral fans. So maybe that'll be the plan for next week, because I think we're we're kind of approaching the end of our time here. I wanna I wanna be ending these uh, night streams around 10, unless it's like a special like multiplayer like the co-op uh, co-op week. I'm thinking we're gonna be doing Jackbox for that week when we hit 150 followers. We're gonna be doing Ultimate Chicken Horse, and then I wanna do another like a third stream during that week where we just have some fun. And it doesn't even have to be on Twitch. Uh, we can also do Discord too, if that makes more sense. But I'll probably wanna do three night streams that week and hang out with all you guys. Um, and maybe some new faces too, by the time we hit 150 followers. Wow, one of them's already an adult. Well here, have some more carrots. Fall in love. I got nothing. I got nothing else for you. That's it. That's all I got. I got wheat. I can go make some bread for you. You ever just chuck bread at people? There you go. Boom. That's some super premium food. Angela just took it all. Angela be eating mega carbs. Like carb loading like crazy. Oh, it's not the right time of day to be making little villagers. Oh, you're back from packing? Do villagers eat soup? That's a good question. I don't know what they do with the bowls. They do not. They only eat raw foods. They, they'll probably eat cooked foods too. Or golden carrots. I bet they eat golden carrots. Yeah, welcome back. Uh, I was just saying, I was kind of explaining the co-op week coming up at 150 followers. It's going to be like a... What's it gonna be? Um, just multiplayer games to hang out and have a good time. So, yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. And then I was explaining kind of the kind of the plans. We're gonna be doing yeah, Jackbox, Ultimate Chicken Horse, and then probably one more stream during the week at night. So if there's any other multiplayer games that a whole bunch of people are into, we'll have to do duos sometime. Yeah, that's true. I've been doing duos on my alt account, so I've been able to do like more platinum ranked stuff, which has been a lot of fun, honestly. It's it's such a break from having to try hard. Trying hard on stream is really draining, actually. Um, cause like, streaming's already draining. Uh, which is weird, cause like, I don't know, like, being on a Discord call while I'm gaming and just hanging out with people is totally normal. But it's, I feel like it's a lot different when it's text coming in and speech going out. If that makes sense. It's like the text is a barrier of like, it takes a lot of effort to communicate two ways on Twitch. Which for you guys, it takes a lot of effort because like when you want to talk, you have to take all the time to type it out and then I can read it faster than you can type it. Unless I read it out loud, then some of you can probably type faster than I can talk. Oh, uh, we'll have to do some off-stream stuff because you can't make Tuesday, Thursday streams. Yeah, yeah, that's true. 
We could, I mean, we could do a Rocket League tournament or something for co-op week. That would be kind of fun if we have enough people by then for a whole tournament. Um, we, I could do some social media organizing too. I, I've been starting to post a little more on Instagram, just a bunch of other stuff. Oh, what's up, Yoshi? You missed a lot. I mean, you missed, um, we didn't build much. We expanded the villager section a little bit. And, uh, we have four now, so they're not in any danger. We're in phase eight, probably halfway through phase eight, uh, which is the peaceful phase. I don't know what nine and ten are, but then I know that it spawns, uh, an end portal at the end of phase ten. Oh yeah, D&D, how's that going? Is this still the same campaign that I visited? Or are you guys moving on? Uh, oh, it was mid in his campaign. Got it. Okay. That's cool. Is he hosting at your place or did you guys go out? They wouldn't let you make contact with it. Uh, make a contract with a demon. Oh dear. Oh yeah. That's another thing I forgot. We haven't been to the nether here. We're almost through the phases. We haven't been to the nether. Hmm. Our little bee friend is so happy. Shame we only have one, but that's okay. Oh, okay, hosting it at your place, nice. And is everyone in person, or is it partially digital too? I have not played Stardew. Pink Ninja has played Stardew. And I have not. It looks amazing though. I'm kind of just hanging out and uh, harvesting these when they're ready. You and your girlfriend have been playing so much recently and having a blast. Yeah, it looks so good. It looks so good. I would like, I forget like the difference between type A and type B personalities, but whatever the one is that like takes it super seriously, that's what I am. I think it's type A. And so if I played Stardew, I know it would be like 12 hours a day for two weeks and then I would beat the whole game. <laughs> so. But that, that might just be me. Yeah, and then type B like takes time to enjoy the game. Type B is like, oh, I'm in this world and I'm gonna like get to know the people and like, I'm gonna enjoy the conversational text. And type A is like, I'm gonna get through all the flavor text as fast as possible so I can get to the real heart of the issue. Like I'm gonna optimize, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, wait for the countdown of when I can give the the villagers gifts and like while I'm doing that I'm gonna plan out an activity that takes exactly that amount of time so I can then run into town and give them the gift at the end of the cooldown and then run back to the other stuff and um, I'm gonna go get all the collectibles and I'm gonna yeah that's pretty much it that's how I play games <laughs> that's why Minecraft for me is was a weird start uh, it was definitely a weird start for me because when I started, it was like, I played it a little bit back in the beta and there wasn't a lot to do, you know, and it wasn't nearly what it is today. It was kind of more just creative, build stuff. And then it wasn't until I saw Hermitcraft, the end of season six and the start of season seven, where I saw like, oh, there's a lot to this game. And yeah, yeah, so I'm definitely more on the side of grinding games out and beating them fast, just like you. And so it, it takes effort to not. So especially like Slime Rancher is a good example, which I'll play on this stream closer to when Slime Rancher 2 comes out. And that's one of the games where I try to grind it out really fast to get to end game so I can enjoy it. But what I find a lot of times is I get to end game and then I don't enjoy it unless there's things to optimize. So like Minecraft, that's why I'm a huge like automated farmer in Minecraft because I just, I love that. I love that there's, there's min maxing, but not like min maxing in an RPG on your character. It's like, it's min maxing the game mechanics to get a certain thing. And you just decide your own end game and then you optimize the heck out of it, which is really cool. 
Uh, your goal for this year is to beat a game a month. Oh, that's cool, which you haven't done, but there's a month where you beat like three or four short to mid length games. Well, if you want to play Midsummer Night and you didn't watch the playthrough here, uh, that's a quick one you can you can beat in like, well, if you speed run it, like two hours probably. But it took us three hours? Just under three hours? Just over three hours? I don't know, it was a long video. I uploaded it to YouTube. Actually, I uploaded the first Minecraft to YouTube and then it just didn't go well. It was like, yeah, we can't process this. And I was like, oh, okay, well, that's lame. Let's, let's clean up some of this fencing. There we go, look at all these torches. We should turn them to lanterns, but I still don't have an iron farm, so. What an odd formation to sleep in. That's, oh, I can go sleep so that we can uh, reset the cooldown on these villagers, and then maybe they will get together with the like 12 carrots I threw at them and make one more little villager, hopefully. So, Hollow Knight's looking really good. Yeah. And then you start a massive game that takes ages, like Sekiro? Sekiro? Is that what it is? I want to play that one. You should play one shot after Hollow Knight. Yeah, Sekiro. Which looks amazing. I had a coworker that was super into it, but he was like... He's kind of like the same way we are with games. Um, where he like... Is type A and he just goes through them really fast. Um, but he took a long time to play Sekiro. It seems like Dark Souls though, so I don't know if it's my kind of game. So yeah, um, Wednesday we're going to be doing I Am Bread, which I have mixed feelings about, but it was recommended and I own it already, so I don't have to wait for a sale. Let's see. You have to beat Okami and uh, Persona 4 and Okami 60 hours and Persona's like 60 to 90 to get through. Wow. It's like Dark Souls, so if you don't like that, you might not enjoy it, but Sekiro's amazing. Yeah, what's up, Helmet? Welcome, welcome. I don't know why I'm jumping around. I don't know why I turned this into a parkour map. I'm neither good at Minecraft parkour, nor should I be doing it on one block skyblock, holding all this stuff. I was gonna bob my head in person to the music, but then I was just like, I mean, I got an in-game avatar. Cheese Hunt in I Am Bread? I have never heard of that. I haven't played I Am Bread in such a long time. It's been... What did I press? Oh. I pressed function 1, 5 instead of function 2, 5. So cute little dancey dance. That's right. Villagers, it's not yet midday. Have some food. Then do a thing. Do a thing. Do a thing. They're not gonna do a thing. That's okay though. I guess I'll keep farming carrots. I guess I could replace all these, uh, all these wheats with carrots. Oh, I could give them bread. Actually, I can't replace them with carrots because I don't have any more carrots. So, there's that. Good night, Pink Ninja. Oh, yeah, it must be 10 o'clock. 10.02. Alrighty, well, I guess that's where we'll leave it. Um, I might do some off-cam grinding just to get, you know, a little more carrots and fill out the rest of the villagers just so we don't have to worry about that. But this, I want to do most of this on camera, which is... Oh, I was like, how did a villager get down there? Um, it's not. 
It's it's the strider I keep thinking as a villager for some reason. Yeah, so a lot of this, you know what? I'm not even gonna grind off, off screen. I'm just gonna let this series be all on camera because I've already done a lot of grinding off screen for this because like we died with all our diamonds and iron last time. So I had to restart and with all the bugs and glitches and stuff, it just wasn't, uh, it wasn't good. So yeah, so I did a bit of off camera grinding and I beat the game. <laughs> a giant mega base suddenly appears exactly. Um, yeah, I'm gonna avoid doing that, a giga base. I put five mega bases together. You know how the hermit crafters are full-time Minecraft players and do all this stuff and they have five of them working together for a giga base that takes a year and a half? Yeah, I, I did that last week. I haven't slept. I haven't slept in a month, all in last week somehow. Nah, nah. Uh, I will leave this world alone. And I won't touch it until next week where my blood is Red Bull. Won't touch it. It's coffee. Thank you very much. Coffee can get me through it. And your tears power your computer. Oh no. No, there's a, there's a, you know, like an IV drip, but in reverse going from one vein to my computer. And then there's an IV drip in the other side with coffee going into it. So I have coffee coming in and blood flowing out. And I'm just, I just integrate with my computer and then I can Minecraft so fast. You don't even know. I'm on a thousand times speed right now. It, it's next level stuff. It's like a, it's like a speed run. It's like a time lapse, but in real life, blood liquid cooling. Oh dear. It actually, oh, that's a weird thought. I wonder how well blood would do as a cooling fluid. And on that note, uh, I guess that's just going to end the stream. I promise I won't experiment with that in my, I won't, two things I'm not going to do next week before next Monday. I'm not going to touch this Minecraft world and I'm not going to experiment, uh, with, uh, human blood liquid cooling for PC parts. So <laughs> yeah, seriously on that note, hopefully you guys have a good night and I'll see some of you tomorrow and I'll see hopefully the rest of you. Wednesday night when we pick up I am bread and I will see if I can do a cheese hunt if that is a thing. So good night everybody.